If you've ever wondered where puggles come from, you're not alone. The nocturnal habits of echidnas are still a mystery, but one wildlife sanctuary is having breeding success by spying on the secretive mammals. Meet Piggy, the Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary's newest short-beaked echidna puggle. It's pretty special. It's not yet known whether it's a boy or a girl, but fingers are crossed he is a she and will contribute to the sanctuary's breeding program. The puggle is the 16th echidna born in captivity and it's already proving elusive. And he's a little bit too young to be exploring yet, but sometimes we come in in the morning, open the box and he's missing and we have to do a little bit of a hunt around the exhibit to find where he's gone. Piggy's pop is Jack and his role in the breeding cycle was limited to the conception. Mum Tacky has the parental responsibility. Yeah, he'll feed from his mum until about seven months of age uh, and he has milk because they are mammals. They don't have teats though, there's paws on the belly and the milk expresses from that and then the little one will lick it off her fur. It's a prickly subject but exactly how echidnas breed is intriguing. The boy basically wedges her up against a solid object, so a rock or a log or whatever it might be nearby, digs a little C-shaped moat around her he lies on his side, she lays on his belly and away they go. This is the breeding enclosure where little puggles are made. And although echidnas are private animals, in here their every move, including their rude moves, are captured on camera. The footage helps handlers monitor the breeding pairs. The short-beaked echidna is still commonly found throughout Australia, but habitat destruction and domestic dogs are impacting on their numbers. Tom Forbes, ABC News, Gold Coast.